Well, hello there, Internet. This is Kyle for the Mediaverse Podcast. Um, want to talk about something. The world is not as good. Um, it seems crazy right now. And I'm surrounded by supposedly a lot of Red Rangers. Um, wanted to talk, wanted to do a new podcast. I'm going to call this, call this episode probably by the equivalent of what they do for, for us, for, which is called Super Sentai in Japan. I'll call this Mission One. So, these, I'm going to be talking about Toku. Mostly to be about Kamen Rider, maybe Ultraman, and, and most definitely Super Sentai. But, I wanted to talk about these shows. Like, I discovered... And I just got, I discovered a Super Sentai back when I was a when I was a kid when not when I was a kid but when I was an adult back when I was a teenager back in high school and probably right after high school actually probably in oh eight or oh seven and I barely had a job so I tried to watch TV to keep myself busy to keep my brain busy and not go mad um. Yeah, so, but, um, I watched this series called, uh, called, like, I checked it out. I seen what the suits were on YouTube, and the first one was Bulk Ranger, and, yeah, Bulk Ranger was pretty, was pretty interesting, and I was like, I didn't get a chance to watch it or anything. Two years later, I was just like, okay, let's, I was on Crunchyroll, and I saw they had, you know, Japanese dramas for some odd reason. Back down Crunchyroll before they decided to start getting licenses and everything, they were like up. People would up. Anybody could upload anything to Crunchyroll, and I mean anything. So I was like, let's see what the latest Sentai is. Engine Sentai Go Ranger. I went on Go Ranger. Saw the suits first, and I liked the suits. They were race car themed and everything, and it was a comedy. So, a little unusual. I love the go-on wings, though, because there were such... I don't know, they just wanted to, like, be the, the type of people that just go, hey, where are the go-on wings and everything? And would flip around and do stuff. Like, just flip around and be very impressive. Kind of a little crush crush on uh, go-on silver, though. She was really cute, cute, though. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll admit, admit it to that. Um, yeah, and, you know, I'm learning some things and stuff here and there. And, you know, I never finished Go On Ranger, but I did leave where I left off, though, a couple years later. Because because I was like, okay, um, let's see. Um, yeah, so that's how I started. And then years later, they did... Years later, they did Shink Ranger, and then they did Go Go uh, Tozen Sentai Gal Ranger, which was an angel theme one with card with card game video games in it. And um, yeah, um, I decided to just, I just never watched them, but I did get to watch this, which was Go Kaija. Or Pirate Sentai, Pirate Sentai Go Kaisa. It was, oh my god. Like, when you saw the first episode of the Legendary Battles, and you saw all, and this was an anniversary episode, it was 35 episodes, it was 35 teams of, or 34 teams of, of, of Super Sentai teams. It made me go and wonder, like, hey, this looks great and everything. So, yeah, I was like, this is amazing. This is crazy. So, I started watching the first episode. I had to go and watch it on a, on a, on a site that gave you... But the Crunchyroll decided to change the rules and everything, so I couldn't watch Go On Rings on Crunchyroll. So, I had to go somewhere else. So, I decided to go on another site, which was... I, I don't even remember it. It was just like, okay... I hope, like, and I watched it, and I loved it. I loved the main character. He had the greatest name. He was probably one of the 
the coolest Red Rangers to ever be I ever seen. And I and he just didn't care. He just didn't care. So, but like he just didn't care. His name and he had the, one of the best names ever, which was Captain Marvelous, which I gotta say was an amazing name for the time. It, it was great. It just kind of showed he had an ego or something like that. And he was he's probably where does Captain Marvelous? Where does he fit on over here? Oh, he's right up he's right over here. That's Captain Marvelous. His suit design was amazing and everything. And I love Doc, I love Joe, I love Item, I love Mo, and I even love Guy. Like, I can remember their names. Most Sentais, I will never remember their names. But I remember these guys because they had such simple names. And they were just... They were very likable. Like, Joe was the sharpshooter. Um, um, Doc was the jokey character. Um, Anum is the princess character. And she was literally a princess of a dead planet. Um, and Mo is just this tomboy who cares nothing about money. And... He, and Literally, they were great, and they become better characters as they move along. But this was an anniversary season, and usually most Sentai, they celebrate an anniversary by doing, like, eh, a special crossover movie, or the they made an entire series into an anniversary. This was a gateway to Sentai. So, you could watch Go Ranger, even though stuff would get spoiled to you in other series. It might get you peaked up interest enough to go watch that series. And... It worked. It does work. Like, like it, like, like. Let me explain this, okay? So the Go Kaisers. What makes them cool is that they're not just pirates. They can transform into other Sentai teams. They can go to Mighty Morphin. They can go to, to like the Samurai. I'm using the the um the uh, the. Uh, Power Ranger term, so it's easier for any of you who are watching it now can understand it better. Um, they could do like um, the Alien Rangers, which were the Ninja Fiend ones, Zeo, Tur uh, Turbo, Turbo, Lost Galaxy. It, you could think it, they could transform into it. And it, it was amazing. It was great. It was like incredible. And like they would do different team combinations. It was so crazy. And then they they learn like they cannot they gotta harness the power the true power of their keys and everything, so like they would have to earn that power by meet one day randomly running into like the Magic Rangers and you know the Magic Rangers would give them the dragon from their keys. Um, they meet up with uh, SPD, which was Deca Ranger or SPD. They both use that term. If I can go SPD and who's ever and I wouldn't get like um. I wouldn't get ridiculed by it. <laughs> um, yeah, and like they would get like different modes for their Megazord, and the Megazord was they transformed into a freaking pi the pirate ship would transform into a giant pirate with dual swords and everything. They faced armies. It was incredible. Like if if there was any Sentai, I would recommend it would be that. Um, but the problem is with with Sentai and everything. Um, it always has this. Oh, I, I ra like, it's Power Ranger Stigma. Or, oh, I'd rather watch the original footage to see where it came from. That's true, but you should really watch Go Kaiser first because you really want to see what, it's, what Go Kaiser is and everything. And Go Kaiser's amazing. Like, I loved it. I really do. And, um, yeah, like, Go Kaiser was amazing. It was pretty amazing for, for, for a 35th anniversary. I think. No anniversary season has actually replicated that formula yet. Which, Sentai is actually, after this season, uh, which is the 44th, it's going to be the 40, it's going to be the 45th anniversary. Go Kaiser! It's going to be a 10, it's going to be 10 years since Go Kaiser came out. I feel so old. I was 22 when that series came out. I'm 32. And I'm, and I love these series. I love that the characters are developed and everything. They give each character the shine. It feels mature and everything. And like, I mean, yeah, it's still a Japanese kids show, but you could, an adult can sit down and enjoy it too. Like, 
and it was amazing. Um, like there's, I finished Engines and I, after Go Ranger came out, so I was like, yeah, I watched Toes and Sentai be right when Go Kaiser because I wanted to watch two series at once. So I figured, why not? Um, let's see, another series I would recommend. Oh, Go Busters! If you are watching Beast Morphers, just so you know, Go Busters is technically an nine year. Eight, well, eight year at this moment of recording series, actually. So, if you want to see where where um, you younger fans who, <laughs> hell, I don't know if we have any younger fans, or older fans are wondering, oh, where did Beast Morphers come from? It comes from there. It is a it is a Power Rangers reference machine. Like, when they do the morphing call, they don't put keys in. They just put, push the button and go, it's morphin' time. I'm not even kidding. It says that. And, like, if you keep your eye out, like, the villain is literally a Zordon clone. Like, he's a dis body virus, like, named Messiah. And I liked it. And I liked Messiah. It was pretty cool. Um, what else? What other was a good Sentai I would like? I kind of would recommend. Uh, let's get to the Tablet of Power here. Oh, Tablet of Power. Tell them, behold. Let's see. Hmm. Like, hmm. <laughs> what other series would I recommend from here? Hmm. Okay, so after Go Kaiser. Ooh, Kitty. Those are kids can send to Kitty Ranger or Power Rangers Dino Charge. Oh god, I love this series. It has the most teams. Um, um, it would. It also has like some real. Um, the Red Ranger is called King and everything. Uh, his name is King, and I love him. He's amazing. Then we got Tog Risa Sentai Tog Ranger. Sorry if I'm butchering the Japanese language. Um, that's trains because trains are really big up in Japan. This one, this is actually the first one I finished in a while because I didn't really feel Torque Ranger. Um, Torque Ranger did have the first Orange Sentai since uh, Battle Fever J, which, which, there's an entire history of Sentai right there. Um, Nimpo Ranger is a Ninja Fiend one, which was really fun. That's Power Rangers Ninja Steel. And then there's, and then there's Zoo Ranger. Which, um, which, which is an animal theme, and it's the 40th anniversary, which the go Kaisers do come back for that one. They have a crossover with them, and, um, yeah, Marvelous just does what Marvelous does best, and, um, also, 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 let me see what I can do. Mm. I gotta stop saying also so much, I've been noticing that so much. Um, yeah, and, uh, they have like a Minecraft inspired Megazord. So if you love Minecraft kids, you're going to love this series. Um, then I got to watch this one because I never really finished this. But this will be on my list once I finish this one series. Which is the 31st Sentai. Sai, Sentai. Uh, Unka Sentai. Kyuranger. Kyura. Kyuranger. There we go. Which... Which is a space theme. Yeah. And believe it or not, here's something really funny. The Power Rangers base was totally an original idea that they started. They just used the Mega Ranger suits, which was technology based. They just took a guess on the Megazord. Like, literally. It was hilarious. And it didn't work. It shouldn't have worked, but it worked. Um, Wind Ranger is different because it has the largest team of any Sentai. It literally has... Eleven, and it's a space theme where they travel, meet up with aliens, and everything. And I like the suits. The suits are really, really cool. Like, hold on, let me find where I can find it. Um, gotta be somewhere. But you should check this one out. I would recommend. I kind of would recommend it. Um. It, I would kind of recommend it based on the size of the team and, like, the suit designs. And, um... Then there's Loompa Ranger versus Paton Ranger. Which is Cop versus Robbers. This is the first Sentai versus series. Which is actually pretty cool. And it comes in with a fourth Ranger, which... 
is an interchangeable character. Yeah, and then there's, which is Dino Fury, which is with the one they're adapting, which is the very, which is was last year's, called Power Ranger Reese Sager, which is a dinosaur night theme, which I'm surprised they haven't gone off of that theme. So they just went Dino Fury, and I guess the mar- I guess it was the marketing team, or they didn't want to go too... S- because they had the perfect... They had the thing that could write itself. It's the fiend called Dino Knights. But, you know, whatever. This is a series I'm watching right now, which is... I'm checking out called... Marai Shin Shin Senchai Kyuranja. Which is a vehicle slash gemstone series mixed in with some magic. It is a trio series, and um, this one's pretty interesting. I like the theming of it. The suits look really cool. The Red Ranger, I love him. He's really cool. Like, he's an artist and everything. He brings things to life. Um, Blue Rangers are typical. I'm I'm the swords guy type of person. Pink Ranger is a little different. Um, Green is actually a female, and then Yellow is a dude. And you know what's funny? The Yellow Ranger, if you're a video gamer and you love esports then you will love the Yellow Ranger because he is that. All right. So those are the stuff that came after, uh, you know, after. But um, my recommendations, and these are stuff I've watched completely or ones I watched halfway through. So I'm basing on stuff I'm watching. But if you want want to. So, okay, here we go. Um, I would go, my, my favorite Sentais would be so far that I completed so far. I watched Cocker Ranger. The reason I watched Cocker Ranger because it was Alien Ranger. And I always loved the Alien Ranger suits. And it was only 10 episodes. So I really wanted to see more episodes with the Alien suits. Then I learned that the Shogun Zord and the and the Ninja Megazord were were um were based around the Cocker Rangers. So, and then what I learned is the Shogun Zord was the original was the was the original Zord. And then they switched it with the, uh, with, uh, Cocker, with, uh, Cocker, with the Cocker Ranger Bear. Uh, the uh, Super Ninja, Ninja Sword, Ninja Zord. Yeah, that's literally what it's called. Super Ninja, Ninja, some, Super Ninja something, like, scrolls or something. But, um, it had a, and they're all based on legendary Sentai scene. We got the White Ranger, the very first female Ranger, female Sentai Ranger, White, Tsudahime. Um, we got the legendary Red Ranger Sasuke. And we have my favorite. He is literally my favorite character of all time. His name is Sasuke. Not Sasuke. Why did I say Sasuke? He's the Black Ranger Jiraiya. And he doesn't speak Japanese. Because his family moved to America. And just so you know, these are descendants of legendary ninjas. And I love them. And it, it, it was, and I loved him. He said, I don't speak Japanese. He learned this though over time. And I love him. He, he would literally speak some English. And my favorite line from, from Sasuke is when he sleeps. Oh, Jiraiya, do you want to speak, you want to learn Japanese? We'll do that first thing in the morning. And he's talking in his sleep and goes, it was so silly. The show is very silly, very out there. Um, storyline can get crazy sometimes. But the story does revolve more around Tsudahime more than anything than just these these four other rangers. But you find out. But, you know, it, it's a good series. I loved it. It's fun. It's hilarious. Um, I would also recommend... Um, uh, uh, Gose Darenja. Which is a kung fu based series with a tradition of Chinese mythos. This is the only time to do something outside of Japan. And has unique storytelling and subplots of each of the characters. And this is where the White Ranger... This is where the Thunder Doors came from. And this is where the White Ranger came from. The White Ranger is actually a little kid named Ko. And I, I love Ko. He's a hilarious pervert. And it's kind of his coming of age story as well when he comes in. And they have like a, and they have like a arc for him throughout the middle of the series. Which is great. I love it. And now this is my personal reference. And these are se- these are series that I'm trying to recommend outside of Power Rangers, because I feel like the stigma is I already watched Power Rangers. I don't need to watch it. I feel like that would be an understatement. But my my recommendation, my personal recommendation outside of Gokaiser, which would be the exception, would be 
Shu Jin Sentai Jetman, which is probably one of my favorite series. It is the it is a series that's before Mighty Morphin. It was actually considered for Mighty Morphin, believe it or not. Um, it was it was a it was a bird theme Sentai, and it had and it just it featured a deaf deaf in the series. I'm not telling you who, but you'll see. Um, it also had a love triangle between but between uh, the red, the white, and black. And um, oh yeah, it's Red Eagle, White Swan, and Black Condor, which they never refer to their names. But um, but um, yeah, I I I really do love this 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 series. Like I watched the whole thing, and the great thing is these sentais I just recommended to you, besides the Gokaisers, you could actually just watch them on Tibu, Tibu right now, or or you could watch them on Pluto TV. They're starting to make. Tokusatsu more accessible. Right now, my problem is, it's like, it's really hard to watch Sentai due to like all like, hey, this Toei, Toei taking it down because they're very protective of their property and everything, or Saban taking it down because they don't want to do anything. Um, there's, like, listen, I'm recommending these because I feel like it, these would be great to watch. They're 50 episodes. They seem long, but they're half an hour, and they're great. I mean, I bet you the Jetman song is going to be stuck in your head for a man for a while. Jetto, Jetto, Jetto man. Hinamare hori hori. Jetto, Jetto, Jetto man. Hin sentai. Jetto man. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I love this show. I love the song. It's a good series. Um, But, um, yeah. But if you're watching this for the first time, give us a like, favorite, subscribe to us. Um, um, I'll put some links down below for uh, for the show for the shows I would recommend. Um, um, I will don't know if I'm gonna come up with a name for this yet. Um, I'm got I got an idea. Um, I'm not gonna call it Tokusatsu though. I could tell you that Tokusatsu cast because that's probably taken. I'm probably gonna. Just, probably keep it simple uh the henshin cast actually that does have a good ring to it or or shift in a henshin henshin which would be another good one because i'm putting i'm putting two i'm putting two references together um you know but yeah who knows but you know in the end of the day tell me what you think Tell me what your favorite Sentai's are if you fun, if you're listening to this for a certain time. Recommend something. Don't argue. Let's have a conversation down below. As always, as always, I'm Kyle and I'm shifting in a turbo. That was bad. Um, how do I do an outro? Uh, go catch change.